Good morning, we're Jacob and Jenny and we have arrived in Belize. Today we are hitting up the Mayan site of Caracol uh, and a few other stops along the very long trip from San Ignacio down to the site. It's gonna be about a three hour drive mm -hmm. to get there, so we gotta get started. Exercising. So we stopped at the Rio Frio cave here in Belize on our way to Caracol and ooh, this is a little bit of a walk to get in but so far it's pretty beautiful and actually it's kind of it's open on both sides so he said it's more like a tunnel than a cave but um, no less stunning. So it's nice to uh, get out of the car a little bit. Um, ooh, the ride drive here is no joke. Uh, just dirt road for almost the entire way. Um, so it's nice to get on some solid ground and uh, basically just this little pit stop and it's quite fantastic. Just really spectacular. It's like bath in the upside off. Hopefully there's no bath though. <laughs> It looks pretty. I'm kind of bummed that we're not going river or cave tubing now. So it looks like that would have been pretty fun. So another trip maybe. So we finally made it to Caracol. Um, had to go through just the small dirt road, just kept getting denser, denser jungle. And we finally got here. I had to then take a pretty decent hike to uh, through some old Mayan roads um, and we're now at some of the old structures. Oh, it's amazing what is still here. Um, the site was abandoned back in 900 AD with the forest had just taken over everything again and now they've started uncovering and excavating some of the sites and it's just amazing what still is here today. Um, we've just seen a tiny part of the city so far, so I'm really excited to see the rest of this massive site. So one thing that's kind of interesting about here is that a lot of the stuff isn't really excavated or excavated yet. Um, I had heard that maybe like 5%, I might be totally wrong on that, has been excavated. So it's interesting to see a lot of the mounds that uh, you can tell there's stuff in there, but who knows what it'll look like and it's original day. Now we're going up. That one. <laughs> yeah, so this one we climbed. It's only been partially excavated. It's still like covered on the side with just dirt and trees growing up out of it everywhere. But when you get to the top, you just have a beautiful view of the plaza down below and an example of one building or one structure that's been just completely excavated and you get a wonderful view of uh, just the fantastic structure that they had over there. Oh, it's really cool. The twice here, big nose, jaguar here, see the whispers? It's uh, quite a bit of a climb, but we still have oh, quite a ways to go. Um, but it is just right in the sun, so that adds to it, and it is hot day today. Let's go. We still have a little bit more to go. I didn't realize that there's this little extra plaza in here once you get to the top, so it's a little bit farther, but you can already see quite a bit going that way. It is quite a sight. You see that way? Look at that way. The last little mound is next to Another one there. Oh, yeah, I can see. Oh, it's house of the trees now. If you were in the air. Oh, that wind feels good. Yeah, the wind is fine. <laughs> We made it to the top of the grand finale here at Caracol. This is something. This is still the tallest building in Belize. 
It's just amazing. It took them 700 years to build this, and then it sat for millennia after that, and it's still here, still standing, still climb it, and still get just wonderful views. You can see how you would think that they would want to build this to be closer to the heavens, because you can just you really feel like it, and it's a great defensive position too, because you can see just so miles night, and miles around. It stars on this side, oh, it's really it's something. <sighs> this site is just so amazing. Um, it's massive. Just seems like it goes on forever. And like Jenny said, it's only a tiny bit of it has really been excavated and explored. Most of it's still jungle. Um, over, I think 150,000 people used to live here, which oh, would make yeah. it bigger than modern day Belize city. Uh, so it's just amazing. I guess the whole city just kind of disappeared and was abandoned though because they had a massive drought. So they just had this whole civilization that went poof. We've gotten to our final stop of the day, which is the Rio on pools. Uh, so we get a chance to Kind of relax and take a little bit of a dip. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Nice way to end the day. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Oh. It's... I don't know if I want to get in. Ooh, it is a little chilly. Well, it feels nice. The water here is pretty cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna go in. I think I'm just gonna relax my feet a little. And fortunately, it's not like a hot spring or anything, but well, just a nice relaxing place to be, I guess. I'm looking forward to the rest of the going to the beach for hopefully warm water. I do want to go in. I don't like cold. Ooh, so we had a really long but really awesome day today. Yeah, the whole tour was awesome from the cave to the ruins, mm -hmm. the ooh, getting to see everything from on top of the world it seemed like, and yeah. then finishing the day off with a nice cold but yeah. relaxing <laughs> dip in uh, the pools. Mm -hmm. Uh, so from here, join us next time as we explore the coastal side mm -hmm. of Belize out yeah. on the islands. Looking forward to getting some beach time some in. Beach, some relaxation, mm -hmm. some ocean time. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.